Pause. What the hell are we talking about? What is this portable little thingy thingy? They're thingy thingies. That's what I describe them as. So, got my laptop here. I have the Meridian Explorer 2, or squared. It's an up. It's a 2 that's up. That means squared. So it's a Meridian Explorer squared. And, finally, in the his house, the Audio Fly uh, Dragon, the Audio Quest Dragon Fly Red. Audio Fly is a headphone. Yeah, fill me up. Okay. Um, let's just go with it. So, what do I got? Because I paused the music, that's why. Let's give that four hours. They're both dongle dax. Ooh, I coined a new phrase. Dongle dac. Dongle dac. Because they're just a USB dongle. Like, that's a box that you have to plug a cable into it. Where this one actually just has a USB plug in it, which I'll take it apart in a second. But, um, there's no... Physical interaction, there's no button. I brought out the Theo All right. Q1 Mark II. And this is an amp DAC. Straight up amp DAC. It's an amp and a DAC. These are both amp DACs. But their controls lie solely in software. I plug it into my phone. My phone's volume button controls the volume output of this. I plug it into my laptop. My laptop's digital volume control controls the volume output of this. They're both headphone outs. This actually has a line out as well. So you could push it out to speakers, but you're gonna be limiting it. USB in, base switch, gain switch, balanced out, regular out, line in, volume knob, power knob, on and off. No, these don't have any of that put that into perspective first. You literally plug one end into the USB and you can plug this into a laptop or you plug it into your phone with an OTG cable and it takes over. The Audio Fly took over, the Audio Quest Dragon Fly took over immediately, plug in headphones. And I've got the Focal Elex here, which is the master version. And I still have the Vocaler up, so they'll have to send these back so they can check the sound signature to make sure the finalized product sounds similar to the ones I reviewed. Um, they're fine. They're, they're better than fine. This Dragonfly is... I don't know how it makes go with just the power coming from my phone. I, have to, I should just leave it on running a test tone and see if it destroys my battery in like 40 minutes because it's pushing out so much power. This, by the way, won. I was at RMAF, which is the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, out in Denver. And I was invited, since I'm pressed, to the, the gala. And sure as shit, the DAC that won for under 500 euros? Everything's in euros. It's very fancy. Everything's in euros. <laughs> what you're thinking about it now, when they sell you taillights for your shitty Honda Civic, they're usually euro taillights. Just euro. So, yeah, under 500 euros, I think, was this Dragonfly Red. What are those claps called? Golf clap? Yeah, golf clap. Um, now, the Meridian here, sent to me by someone else, good, good, but some sketch reviews on the, on the Amazon. The Amazon. That's right, I said the Amazon. This has nothing but high praise. Absolutely fucking nothing but high praise. And this has a couple reports of bricking itself. Not a lot, but just enough to be like, hey, I should mention that in the review. That some of the, the like the, the three star and below are like, yeah, I bought one, it was great. For six weeks, bricked itself. Back to having no controls. Do you see what just happened? I, I turned it like that. And I don't know if it's the cable or the connection but I just got an unrecoverable play app, playback error. Will it work again? It won't work again. It's just gonna crash. It's gotta be unplugged. Plugged back in. And I don't know if it's just this one, but it's been a little sketch. Just a little sketchy. Okay, it's working fine now. Where am I plugged? You're in the Elex? Yes. 
both $200, by the way. If you check the price, and that's why they're sitting here in this review together, $200, $200. Same exact functionality. This one gives you a line out. This one doesn't. This one just gives you a head. It's literally, there's nothing to even show you on it. It's a, it's a, it's a three and a half millimeter and a USB stick. I do not like the fact that the cap is just here. Here it is. Oh wait, no, here it's, uh, oh, 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 fuck, it's on the floor. Never going to see that again. There's so many better designs for USB sticks, memory sticks or anything that don't involve the cap being a removable entity that falls on the fucking floor. So... Figure that out, Audio Quest. You, 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 you did a damn good job on the internals of this. Just make the functionality a little, like make it slide out of the unit, or make this, the whole sleeve, make it do do this, I, I don't know. What do you think? She doesn't know either. There's nothing to talk about or play with. I'm afraid to pick up the Meridian in case it freaks out again. And again, it could be the wire, or the connector, it could be abused. How do they sound? Because that's the main, the main reason you're looking at one of these is because you want to improve, even if you have a headphone out on your phone, which I don't, I'm just pointing at it like I do. This will sound better than it by a fucking huge margin, actually. I was relatively surprised by the Dragonfly Red. People have asked me red or black, red or black, and I think I reviewed the very first Dragonfly black, and I was like, meh. I'm not meh about the red. And as much as uh, Audio Quest is like, oh, shitty expensive cables that no one needs, this is a quality piece of hardware. Uh, both these headphones, which are exactly what you're going to carry around portable. I know my crowd. I know who's watching this video. You're both going, God, those are gigantic, but they sound amazing. I better take those to the train station. I hesitate to say it's one of the best DACs I've heard in my phone, but it's probably one of the best DACs I've heard in my phone. Straight. Now this again is my go-to. 100 bucks, you buy a Q5 Mark II. You can hook it up USB straight into your phone with an OTG. I don't have that particular OTG, and I don't know if I lost it or if I never owned it in my life. It's one of those Zeos problems like, did you ever own it or did you lose it? So then I'll spend three hours looking for it, and I don't know if I ever even owned it. That's literally my life. I'm a sucker for a volume knob. Here's the thing. I've been, t I've been told, and I don't know which one it is, what it's called. You could all talk in the comments about it. One of the major problems I have with something like this is that you rely on the volume control. Hold on of Android or iOS, so it works on both. And the problem with Androids is it jumps literally 10% at a time, and sometimes going from 80 to 90 is a huge fucking jump. Now again, I've been told there is a app you can download that will give you any increment of volume change you want. I would highly recommend you find out what that is. Again, look in the comments. I didn't do much research into it because I'm just like, I gotta get this done. I was using it for the last few days and I didn't, couldn't find it from just basic searching. So if you know the app that'll let you control the volume with more finite controls than 10, I'd take five. Five would be perfect. Three would probably be 3.3 decibel jumps, 3.3% higher would be one, two, three, 80 to 90, and then two, three, 90 to 100, be great. In fact, I'm going to have to look it up. When you guys post comments, I'll look it up and I'll download it. Because it does jump a bit. But once you fix that, or once you get past it, ooh, ooh, ooh. It, whatever's in here should be a standard. It is exactly as clean as you think it is here. I'll pull on the erupts. And I'm going to put them up. Three... Like it's, I feel like I've plugged my headphones into something over there. And either this, is it this, is it that? 
it, it's not that because the noise floor is too quiet for it to be that. I don't know how they got such a good quality sound out of something so small. And here's the thing about the Meridian too. It sounds similarly good, a little softer. And that's not something that I usually do. I don't usually go, oh, the DAX all sound the same and amps are real close. Definitely with the switching these two headphones back and forth, final listen on this desk, finally got them both running at the same time and not using just this one or just this one. A little softer. And I'm okay with that. Oh, by the way, this one does MQA. If you don't know what MQA is, it's when you go to Tidal and spend all your money on Tidal for less playlists, but then they have this special lossy streaming format. And MQA is still lossy, but things are mastered in it. Oh my God, it sounds amazing. I don't care. Just put hardcore flack somewhere or Spotify premium is usually enough. Another thing about me is I'm not a super duper portable audiophile. If I'm here at home and I have access to like that stack that's worth like $2,000. Yes, by all means, lossless, quality, quiet room, shut off the air conditioner, throw the cat out because she's too noisy when she wanders around. But if I'm on the go, which I am occasionally, I have much less high standards for sound quality. I, I, I'm okay with Spotify high quality streaming. It doesn't have to be lossless. It doesn't have to be MQA special recodes that are tuned because I'm outside and I should be enjoying outside with music, by all means with music. But if I go to a barbecue, I will set up, you know, something decent and listen to it. I won $2,000 IMs and I don't understand if I'd ever wear them outside. Those would be something to sit down, focus, listen. Go into audio file mode at home and go into eh, outside. But if it's worth the, tr the hassle of carrying around this, because you need to have an OTG cable and this to run on your phone. Um, this is the best fucking thing you could buy, period. End of line. Again, also, I wouldn't take out much more expensive headphones. Like these Elex are like $700 and they're open back. So that would automatically negate the fact that you're using high end stuff because it's open back and the sound of the bus driving by and the fucking people talking would just. If, if imagine you put on a DAC and you, you just had the sound of buses driving by built into it, which would be a great goof gag. But, you know, I still like this. You want to see what I brought to the Rocky Mountain? Because here's what I did. Went to Rocky Mountain Audio Fest, and I brought my little, I brought the little, um, where is it? Where is that little player I brought? The, the little X-Duo player for the plane. And then when I was in Can Jam, and I'm sitting there, and I'm, I have the TH-909s, those new Fostex. And they're like, oh, you want to play these? I'm like, oh, let me play them on my source. This was my source. Oppo Hot 2 with a Fio BTR3 uh, DAC. Little fucking Bluetooth DAC. Because the sound quality from Bluetooth from here to here, and then the extra power added from the Hot 2, was enough to satisfy my entire needs. All of them. If I would have brought this, it would have been very similar, actually. Way more similar than I would have imagined. But I don't want wires. I hate wires. I hate wires. I hate wires. I hate wires. I love wires when I'm at home. I hate wires when I'm on the go. And the less wires I need between my device and my DAC amp and my headphones, the better. I'm not saying that Bluetooth headphones are the way to go, but certainly disconnecting the source from the amp DAC makes life so much easier. Leave this in my pocket, set the volume, pick out my phone, which is just a phone, and go next track. Hmm, next track. Okay, unplug, walk to the next table. I highly recommend this. Highly. If you have a phone with a shitty headphone out or no headphone out, this is the way to go. This thing is $70 and is Bluetooth and will power most headphones. My DAC amp shootout should have come out already. And of course the Dragonfly sounds better, but 
Actually, the dragonfly is more powerful too. But convenience sake, remember that word? Remember when, if I'm home, inconvenience the fuck out of me. If I'm out and about, and I've got things in my pockets and I'm trying to open doors and get in my car, not get in my car, talk to so convenience is top tier. That's convenient. That's not. That sounds better a bit than this, but that's convenient. And then when you do this, it's sort of like, well, then you get convenience and power. So, and you could do the same thing with the Fio, with even a cheaper Bluetooth receiver. I'm a, I don't know what it is. It's, it's like, it feels like Bluetooth should be paying me. The Bluetooth consortium, I'm sure that's a thing. To pimp Bluetooth, because it isn't, 4.2 is fucking good enough for basically anything. But I cannot deny the quality. Here it is. Here it is. Are you ready? Put the cap on it. Gold. At least the cap slides on nice and tight. None of this like it's going to fall off. It is like squeeze. Now the Meridian, that's a slightly harder sell. And the reason it's a slightly harder sell is because, well, I don't think you're taking this. I don't want to, again, I don't want to touch it. Put on the UX for a second. Much more control with a like a foobar setup. Sounds fucking good. Six layer PCB. I had the specs up. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. Uh, I'll quickly tell you uh, what it's got. It's got three white LEDs. One, two, and four. Show connected state and audio stream rate. Uh, one glows white for PCM. Green to indicate MQA. And blue to indicate MQA Studio. Which again is just... I don't care about MQA. I don't. I don't care about DSD or DXD either. I don't care. Unless it literally replaces the entire fucking internet with DSD, DXD, and MQA. I don't care. It's very niche shit. This will do it. This will do it. But I don't care personally. So I'm just running 1644 flack through it, which is enough. I'm giving you the judgment off that. But oh, what else does it have? Uh, do, oh, oh my god, it's got 480 megabits per second bandwidth, which is just basically the speed of USB 2. And analog volume control for headphone output controls from PC. Control law modified to match connected OS. So it is legit. Hold on, let me see something. I'm going to lower this down. Gently touch. See, the line out actually, I just plugged into the line out, by the way. And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I installed the drivers. I don't know what else it wants from me. But the volume in FUBAR is adjusting the volume in both of those. So if it was an analog thing, then it could fix the... Let's Windows itself. Here, let's see. No, because even then, Windows itself would be lowering the volume. I don't know. It's just weird. Let's display. Oh, there you go. So... The player volume, if you leave fixed, so if I, I've got the Meridian Explorer 2 in Windows lower to zero, and yet the line out is still working. If I switch back over to this, that's really fucking loud. So yeah, the, the actual volume in Windows isn't even affecting it now. So that's even fucking weirder. That's even weirder. I don't, I don't get it. I, I understand why there would be a line out and a headphone out. You have two. That's great. Why does the line out sound so much warmer? Because even though it's drawing a lot from these and it's it's, it's not designed to, draw, to push headphones, there's a bit of a sound quality difference versus going through the headphone amp. And then it's supposed to like leave it with analog. I don't know. Look, it's a little DAC amp that goes, it can go on your full size computer. You can put it on your desk. And it goes, laptop makes more sense. You pack your laptop up, you drop this little bastard in here with a little cable, you're done. 
I wouldn't go with a phone with this, although I'm pretty sure you probably could. It is a USB mini, the old school, like old school GoPro, big box USB. Well, little box USB. So you'd have to find a guy in Mochi G cable that did that. So you'd probably need an adapter that goes from this to this and from this to the other thing. And then you got fucking massive wires. This is a definite buy. It's a definite buy. And the, oh, by the way, the Dragonfly will change colors based on various bit rates and blah, 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 blah. Irrelevant. How does it sound? Fucking exceptional. As good as most things I've ever put to my phone or to my computer for that matter. And for $200, there you go. The question is, can you deal with the dongling? Is, can you, do you deal with the dongle? Do you deal with the dongle? Or do you go with something that's USB? No, not USB. You go with something that's Bluetooth and not USB. Do you take the quality hit? And there, there is one. There is a quality hit going from direct plugging in, direct DAC access to the music files to Bluetooth. But again, it's quality versus convenience. Do you want that extra wire? Do you need that extra wire? Because nothing makes me hate carrying around my phone more than one of fucking these. So I don't know, links are in the description. That wallpaper's in the description. If you own a Dragonfly Red, and everyone seems to already, Please tell me what you think about it. Tell me if it annoys you to have to plug it in like I do. Do you use it on your laptop? Because you could just do. Oh, that's a US. That's a. There. You could just do that. Look at lights up red. And there you go. That wouldn't be bad, except I have a, a phobia, a fear or a phobia of plugging headphones in to something that's sort of cantilevered out of a USB port. I feel like that's just a little bit too easy to... <laughs> just me. Just me. Again, this review is done. I know you have an unrecoverable playback error, baby. I know. I know. It's fine. Because I changed your thingy. Wallpaper in the description. Links to both of these. And this. Which I think is a good enough starter phone DAC amp. If you get, if you, again, if you could deal with wires. Or this, the BTR3, which is the winner of my Bluetooth receiver thing. And I just happen to have it on an Oppo Hot 2. You don't need to do that. You can run it straight. Thoughts, description, Patreon. Uh, these were loaned to me. Those are going back. So the Patreon will get you to see this review early. The Patreon also is where the yard sales happen, where unfortunately nothing you see here will be in it because uh, owners tend to want their stuff back. When I can become a bigger channel, I promise you, I will just steal things from people and sell them in the yard sale, and then my lawyers can take care of the rest. It'd be tons of fun. But yeah, that's enough for this. Good. Elex review coming up. These are going back to this company so they could, you know, verify them. And good.